Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Let's get started in uh, reducing the polygon count of this object. First thing I want to do is Control D. I want to duplicate that because should I make a mistake, I've got my original to uh, use again. All right, I'm going to apply two levels of smoothing. This is the look of my wheel that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probably bring it down to one. And I'm going to commit that level of smoothing. Now, at this level, um, it is, it's not quite enough, but there are certain parts of this model that need more smoothing and certain parts that can stay right where it is. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select just a couple of these loop. I'm going to hold down shift and press the up uh, the plus button and I'm going to grow this selection out one more. And I am going to come over here to vertex modeling and I'm going to extract that come back to the model. Now this area, this center part here, needs obviously more smoothing. So I'm going to loop that. I'm going to select all these, hold down shift and press the up arrow. And it's not getting these, so let me grab these in here. And I'm going to increase this all the way to the edge of the rim. I think one more. And extract that. Hide that. OK. This obviously needs one more level of smoothing. So apply one level. And I'm going to collapse that geometry. But we're looking at 4,700. 36 polygons. That is a little much. So there are several things we can do. One, we can come up here to the Utilities tab. We can use the Merge Code Planar. But sometimes that will leave stray edges. It hasn't now. But sometimes it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Control Z, undo that. I'm going to decide when, where, and how these extra edges are removed. I'm going to select those, hit L on the keyboard. I'm going to hit my backspace button. Now we've gotten rid of all those extra ones because this area here should be smooth. It doesn't need to be tessellated quite so much. And let's hit that and backspace. If you hit delete, you're going to run into trouble. Hit the backspace. Select those. Loop that. Backspace. And all of these can be removed. Loop that. Backspace. Now, this is a nice rounded edge, but it's probably we have probably a little bit too much tessellation in here than what is really necessary. So I think I'm going to come in here and select every other one. Loop those and backspace and delete them. I'm going to do the same thing in here. Loop that, backspace to delete those. And definitely in here, God, look at all of these. Don't need to have all of these. Backspace, get rid of those. I'll keep those. I might be able to get rid of that one. Let's see. 
Now what it is doing here is, I'll show you, you've got all these points here. Well, wait a minute, why are the points hanging, sticking around, hanging behind? We deleted all the edges. Well, yes, that's true. So I'm going to come here, and now I'm going to use that. And and it cleaned up those, uh, those points pretty well. And it deleted all these along here. And now look at from, what was it before? For like 4,300, I think. We're down to 1,153. Click off of it. Gee, looks great. Okay. Let's come back. Uh, all right, let's come over. Come over here to our the little hub here. Got a lot of extra ones in here. Mm, I'm going to delete this one. Backspace all of these. Loop that backspace. And select those backspace. Select all of these, loop that backspace. Let's see what we've got here. Is it okay, it's 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 retaining some of those extra points. That's okay. Because we'll get rid of them. There we go. And this one's only 416. I forgot to check to see what it was before we uh before we started. I reckon we can probably get rid of some of these. Maybe just that one, loop that. And let's run this one more time to clean up any extra edges that it may have uh, hanging around. Okay, now the big one, this one. Okay, at this level of subdivision, eh, it's not looking too good. Let's add one more. And that's looking all right. I like that. So we will collapse the dynamic geometry. Now, the first thing I think I'm going to do on this is I'm going to go ahead and run this merge the coplanar faces. Now all of these are um, on this section here. This is one flat area. So I don't need all those subdivisions in there. I can delete those. I do not need them. All they're doing is running up my polygon count. Oh, we got a straggler. Okay, let's see. We can get rid of some of these. Let's see if there's left any stragglers behind. Yeah, got some stragglers. We'll have to run this tool again. All right, that did a good job. I think I'm going to delete a couple of every other one here. loop that backspace to delete them. Yeah, we're going to have to run the tool again. And that cleaned it up pretty good. And this is only a thousand polygons. So let's... Did I run the tool on this one? I think it was the outside one that I didn't run the tool. No, I did run the tool on that one. Okay. Um, let's put all three of these together click off. Now I'm going to take this object, move it over there. Let's re-enable the original high polygon one once we add our uh, smoothing to it. Two levels of smoothing. Come on now. Select. There we are. Okay. Let's click off. First, let me uh, select that, enable the, uh, uh, collapse the dynamic geometry. Okay, on this one, we've got 9,856 polygons. And on this one, 2,500 polygons. They look absolutely identical. If you, see, if you can see any big noticeable difference, well, that's, uh, your eyes are better than mine. The only thing I would uh, want to do here is vertex modeling. Clo whoops. Let me abort that. Close this hole right there. And I think I will 
loop that and add just a little bit of a chamfer to this. No, that's not going to be enough. Okay, we've got uh, 2,698. Of course, I'm going to have to uh, close this off and do the same thing on this one. Versus 9,856. You do the math. They look identical. And I can create four of these t wheels uh, for my hand cart and have the same number, give or take, of polygons as this one. Now, there is one more thing to do. I have to add some thickness to this, and we will do that in the next tutorial. But I have definitely achieved what I set out to do, and that is create a quality-looking wheel with a low polygon count. So that's it for the second part of this tutorial. I'll start a third one in a little bit. So that's it for this. Thanks for watching here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.